Each day in our lives we pass hundreds of people. Who are these people? We have little time to think about them, for we are obsessed with our own lives. Being much impressed by and caught up in the things of the world around us. Life, friends, and family all revolve around the central pillar of self. We are the Selfie Society. In all the chaos of our lives, we have missed the call to be the salt and the light of the world. We are called to make an impact on others' lives by showing the love of Christ. Are we influencing the world or being influenced by it? Father God, thank you for this beautiful morning. I praise your holy name. Creator of all, I come to you today deeply grateful for all your goodness. As I look around me, I'm amazed at the greatness and majesty of all that you have made. Nature around me speaks of your greatness, the vast expanse of the sky, the mountains, the trees, the lakes and the streams speak of your great design. You have given me such beauty in the colors of the rainbow, the beauty of flowers and fields. Words cannot adequately express the splendor of all you have created. I join with this creation and praise you this morning for this day that you have given me. Father, I pray today that you help me be the salt of the earth, the light of the world, and a city on a hill. Help me understand the purpose of the day and live in it a way pleasing to you. Amen. Wake up and smile, cause it's been a while, it's been like a whole day since I stopped, so you could hold me, but this child away, strong in the faith. Hey doll, good morning. Good morning, Vidya. Why are you so dull? Is everything okay? No. My car is a flat tire. I should have told you last night. Can you please give me a ride? Don't, don't worry. I can pick you up. You know what? I just started, so I should be there in 15 minutes. Started? Already? Why so early? Do you have a meeting or something? <laughs> no, not really. I have some important work. Mm, will you be ready? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry girl, it's important work. Okay, okay, I can make it in 15 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Work? What work? Okay, I have to rush. Wake up and smile, cause it's been a while. It's been like a whole day since I stopped, so you could hold me. But this child away, strong in the faith. Lord, you are the refuge that I can't wait to get to, cause I.
Girl, let me help you out. Girl, girl, I, I got it, okay? Let me help you out. <laughs> you you cracked me up. Are you okay? Girl, what happened? <laughs> hey. Everything. Everything in my life is falling apart. My, my boyfriend, he dumped me last month. <laughs> and, and my best friend, he, she betrayed me. Uh, you know what? I've been working so hard last whole year, but someone else took the promotion. It's like, I feel so stupid, even in my family. Paul, I'm... <laughs> I'm so sorry for how you feel, doll. You know, you know people love you so much. You, you, you crack jokes. You, you make everybody laugh. And you know when you're around, people are so happy. No, that's not me. People think I'm funny and I'm happy, but, but that's not me. I'm faking. I'm hiding behind a mask. So that no one will know my real thing. But from inside, I'm I'm completely broken. I feel so lonely. Sometimes it's like, why am I even born? I should I should just die. I want to die. Doll, doll, don't don't say that. Don't don't say nobody cares. Hey. I care for you. I know what to do. I'm I'm going to take the entire day off and I'm going to spend the whole day with you. No, 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 don't do that. You don't have to do that. I know that you have some important work today. Please, don't do it. You don't worry about it. I'm, I'm okay. Um, I, I know a place close by. Um, let's let's go there. I I just need to talk to you. resting place. Resting place? Here. Someone can hurt you or maybe even kill you. Kill me? It, it almost happened. <gasps> but not someone. It was I myself. <gasps> You know why I brought you to this place? Come. Ten years back, I was in this exact same place. And I wanted to kill myself. I'm 
is in the same boat. And life was tough. I felt lonely. I felt ignored. I felt like I was a failure in everything. And I ended up standing in this exact same place. And I wanted to kill myself. But somebody ended up putting me and saved my life. He didn't shout at me, but he looked at me and he said, You are precious. You are honored. God loves you. And he will wipe away every tear. Everything changed at that point. When I heard Jesus Christ gave up his life on the cross to save my life. Doll, you did not call me by accident. Your car did not break down by accident. I'm here to tell you my story of how God saved me and to tell you that God loves you unconditionally. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God loves me unconditionally? Even in my failures? No one ever told me this. I, I want to know more. <laughs> Let's walk and talk. I don't I fear, don't fear anymore. anymore. Even, Even if today, if today Somebody, somebody came, came and, and killed, killed me, right, me here. right here. I will I share, share Jesus, Jesus with them, with them and, die. and die. For me, For me to live is Christ, Christ and, to, and die to die is gain. gain. Mr. Billy? Hi. I thought I knew it was you. I saw you as you walked past. I'm so glad you saw me. How are you? You 
you stopped coming to our shelter. You know, we, we looked for you everywhere, but we couldn't find you. What, what happened? Look, you, you didn't find me because I didn't want to be found. When I saw you today, I almost left again. I wanted to, but I couldn't. It's like some, something was pulling me here. It's God. He answered my prayers. Please come to our shelter. We all miss you so much. And we would love to have you back. Please, Mr. Billy, listen to me. Alright, I'll be there. Thank you. I, I'll, I'll see you later. Oh, by the way, this is Dolly. Hi. Alright. Take care. Nice to meet you. Is he homeless? He doesn't look homeless. You know, I, I, I was scared when I saw him. It's a tragedy. He's a wonderful man and had a beautiful family. Everything was perfect. Accident, when he lost his entire family, he lost everything. He lost hope, he was broken, and now he is living on the streets. We have been ministering to him since past six months. But suddenly he disappeared. We couldn't find him, but thank God I saw him today. This is what you do. Once you try to kill yourself, and now you're helping others to find hope. How can you do this and why? This is the purpose of my life. And, and I don't do it in my own strength. I ask God every day 